Okay, in this video we're going to turn 2 and 1 8 into a percent. So the first thing we need to do is turn it into a decimal, right? So it's 2 point something, isn't it? So that, that's the first step. Okay, let's, so let's, let's start with turning that 1 8 into a decimal, right? So we got 2 point whatever the 1 8 is. Because remember, 2 and 1 8 is, is in fact 2 plus 1 8, 2 and 1 8, 2 plus 1 8, right? So to turn the 1 8 into decimal, um, it's 1 over 8, 1 divided by 8, or 8 into 1, okay? So we'll do some long division, or short division I call it, and we'll go 1.00, you can put as many zeros as you want, it doesn't matter, um, until the, you know, you're done with remainders and the like. So so we go 8 into 1 won't go, so we can put a, a 0 up there. 8 into 1 goes 0 times. And you keep your decimal point above it, above like that, don't you? So then 8 into 10. 8 into 10 goes 1 time, remainder, remainder 2, right? 8 into 20 goes 2 times, remainder what? Remainder. 4 and 8 into 40 8 into 40 goes 5 times right and and now we're done because there's no remainder and we can go 8 into 0 go 0 times 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 and keep going on forever if you want to but I mean 0 0.125 000 is just 0 0.125 isn't it so you can add as many zeros on to the end of that, it's still the same number, but it's simplest to just write it 0 0.125, okay? So now we got our 1 8 into a decimal. So this 2 plus 1 8 is in fact 2 plus 0 0.125, isn't it? It's 2 plus 0 0.125, or you can write that as 2.125, right? So that is two and one eighth as a decimal. But we gotta go one step further and turn it into a percent, okay? So to turn into a percent, um, you move the decimal point two spots to the right. And you just get 212.5%, okay? Um, and why is that? Because Per cent means per hundred. So if we check that, that is 212.5 per hundred. That's what percent means, per hundred. And if, to, if you divided that by 100, you would be back to a smaller number, right? Like if you divided by 10, you'd move the decimal point over here. Divide by 100, move it two spots to the left, right? So, but the point you think about, look, if I divide by 100, it's going to be a much smaller number, yes? And you'd be back to two. 0.125 because you would move the decimal point two spots to the left, right? And just as a rule of thumb, you always got to remember, look, what's 1%? What's 10%? What's 100%, right? Right, 1% is 1 over 100, isn't it? 0 0.01. What's 10%? 10 over 100, 0 0.1. What's 100%? 100 over 100, the number 1. 100 over 100 is 1, isn't it? Right, so just kind of always remember, like, like at least write these down so that you have these in your head, you got them as a benchmark. So, so 2.125, if 100% is 1, then 2.125, that is about 200%. Yeah, that, that makes sense, right? So 2 is about, is 200%, isn't it? Right, so like, like 200% is 200 per cent per hundred. What's 200 over 100? Well, it's two, right? 